Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis and this is daily analytical report. Um, so our um, live webinar uh, where I will uh, show you the situation on the market and we will try to look for decent trading uh, set up decent trading uh, occasions on the market. And first as always we start with the uh, calendar uh, today we already got in data from uh, UK retail sales data which came much better than expectations and uh, thanks to that the British pound is aiming higher today uh, as we speak at one particular setup on British pound to Japanese and that helps a lot uh, because there is a really really promising uh, selling opportunity there so if the price is going higher it means that uh, you can sell with higher price which is always desirable now but i will show you that uh, later also today i will have a speech from mark carney uh, in eight hours uh, should also be influential for the uh, British pound and we will have a fed speak so fed members uh, talking about the monetary policy overnight I watch out on yen because we will have uh, uh, CPI so inflation from uh, Japan speech from Jerome Powell um, chairman of the Fed uh, Carney speaking again and that will be it for this uh, for this uh, week also GDP from UK uh, so that's it on the calendar uh, now we will look on the on the chart on the uh, chart what's going on there and euro dollar made a beautiful uh, shooting star um, here we had this uh, we had this uh, shooting star on monday bouncing from a horizontal support but then the price reversed and actually yesterday we broke this horizontal support but it seems that this breakout was a false breakout like this one above the neckline so it seems like this one was the false one which should trigger us a strong movement in the opposite direction so which should give us a buy a signal so that will uh, so that is the current situation uh, we do have this uh, downtrend line once the pink line will be broken we should aim this horizontal resistance once this horizontal resistance will be broken we should aim the uh, the green area so uh, that false breakout can give us a legitimate buy signal in the nearest in the future gold gold uh, surprised me yesterday because i had a position on gold uh, as you can see here I had a long position on gold which I closed on a break-even point uh, so on a slight uh, profit because gold uh, broke the upper line of the flag yesterday and broke the horizontal resistance so I bought gold somewhere here I guess so my stop loss was on break-even point the price declined and I thought that they're gonna bounce from this level but they failed they came back the the price from daily from like the price from weekly lows uh, weekly highs went to daily lows now which uh, i thought that it's a false breakout and the price gonna decline but now gold is coming back again i don't like this situation because it's uh, just uh, taking stop loss orders activating stop loss orders from both sides luckily my stop loss was not taken I just didn't earn money on this but I didn't lose so a break even point a break even trade but I just don't like when the situation is not technical I like technical trading I love when the price is following the technical analysis here the price failed to uh, follow the technical analysis and uh, well those were just movements like in the uh, in the uh, midterm uh, but after such a strong hammer we should see um, more bullish uh, candles than than those two than those two if i would be patient and i would buy here and kept my stop loss here well i would be still on profit but i uh, my aim is to uh, protect the the trade once i have a profit which is equal to the potential loss i put my stop loss to the break even point 
to protect my trade from uh, from unexpected reversals. Australian dollar to American dollar. So we had this false breakout above the neckline. Oh, okay, let me finish the gold. What's my uh, outlook on this? Well, for me, this instrument is not tradable, but the price coming back uh, above this uh, upper resistance here is a positive sign, and we should see a further upswing on gold. But I'm not going to participate in this because this uh, situation is not to is, uh, is is not very technical. I don't. I simply don't like this. American dollar, Australian dollar to American dollar. Here we had a false breakout above the neckline. The price uh, went uh, lower, and now we are having a kind of like a, a wedge or or a flag, uh, which is promoting a further drop. Uh, but for the proper sell signal, we need to see the breakout first of this lower line and this horizontal support. After this, we can get a, a bearish breakout. And this is this bearish pound to Japanese yen that, that I was telling you about. Uh, first, the big picture, the uh, the long story. Uh, so the long story here is a breakout of all major supports, both dynamic and horizontal. So what we have here is breakout of the long-term uptrend line, breakout of the mid-term uptrend line, breakout of the long-term horizontal support, breakout of the midterm horizontal support, breakout of the lower line of the flag, breakout of the horizontal uh, midterm horizontal support, and other ones. So breakout, 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 breakout. As it often happens, uh, the broken uh, supports uh, are tested as resistances. And we said that here yesterday, when the price was here. And, uh, and, and we got the test, exactly what we, are, wh what we were seeing here. Now the price is uh, testing that resistance for the second time. And for the second time we have a kind of reaction. What I'm expecting here now is, uh, is a flag. So we can continue this here, 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 and eventually we should get the, bre uh, we should get the breakout of the lower line of this, of this flag. So that is my scenario. I'm gonna look for this and I'm gonna wait for this. We'll see, maybe I will sell uh, here, maybe uh, that will be the second test and the price will break the lower line of the flag here. But the situation here, in, um, like a technical situation here, looks very, very interesting. And I'm looking forward for uh, further development here. New Zealand dollar to Japanese yen. Long story first. Long term horizontal support here. A ca weekly candle from yesterday, from last week. First we had a hammer, then the price pushed higher. We got an engulfing, but then the the price reversed, and instead of engulfing and a hammer, we got a piercing pattern, which is still fine. Next week, this week, the price was advancing higher, but then we got a reversal as you can see here yesterday and we are still above this support actually we could like uh, make it smaller like that and the price closing a day below the green area will be a legitimate strong sell signal so far price did not close below so far the support is trying to hold so we have to wait for the breakout and for the price closing a day below this area because price again price closing below price closing a day below the uh, the, the green area will be a significant sell signal uh, this is uh, American dollar to Japanese yen which was also very interesting Actually, for the first time, well, not for the first time, but in general, uh, I'm not a fan of American dollar to Japanese yen because uh, 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 because it's not very technical, and um, I usually don't see any interesting setups.
here. But in a way, um, we will see what the situation will bring here. So what we have on American dollar to Japanese yen was long story first bounce from the long term downtrend line and the price created the long term flag like i would uh, even copy this line okay long term flag we broke the lower line of the flag we tested the lower line of the flag as the closest resistance here now we broke the horizontal support maybe we will test this horizontal support as a resistance and the price will decline further the sentiment on american dollar to japanese yen is definitely negative there is a, a very good selling opportunity uh, here with quite nice risk to reward ratio because Imagine that the price will test this level, like maybe even here. Stop loss you get on 60 pips, and the take profit you get on 100, um, let's say 30. So, uh, 2 to 1 risk to reward ratio, and that's just the first target that we can reach. But in theory, we should repeat this downswing or this downswing, and I wouldn't be surprised if those downswings uh, were uh, the same. Well, they are almost the same, but if we would consider this downswing, uh, that's that one is a bit longer, uh, a bit uh, bigger. But what we should get is here, or be here, okay and this we should have uh, from here so the potential target long-term target is somewhere here on 100 that's the potential target for america Ameri for this uh, new downswing of american dollar to japanese yen uh, euro to canadian dollar is fighting for a triple bottom formation mm even four one two three four uh, but for the first signs of a possible reversal we need to see the breakout of the blue line first so as long as the price is below the blue line and uh, there is no sell signal but the breakout of the blue line will give us a buy signal uh, here which is a counter trend trade i don't like counter trend trades uh, but i'm fully aware of the fact that many of you do like them now um, oil 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 is doing really good it's close to the a few years highs is above the midterm uptrend line is above the midterm horizontal support is above the long-term uptrend line so here on oil everything seems right everything seems positive british pound to australian dollar here the price is fighting for a, a double bottom formation so here yesterday we were expecting the price to go higher it went higher a little bit but then went lower mm. well the long-term sentiment is negative right it is it is negative uh, but I'm not a fan of buying on such low levels. I would love to see the bounce from the red line, for example, or from this uh, from this orange resistance. This is my uh, idea of trading. Euro to Australian dollar also, you can see a reversal, at least a try of a reversal, and the price will try to test this this area again. But the candle from yesterday was really negative and uh, it can give us i'm gonna check the fibonacci's because it's gonna be very interesting where we are well that would be awesome 
let me change the color for you maybe black is okay that would be really awesome to see the price on 38.2 Fibonacci level so here actually the setup suddenly became very interesting uh, so far no because I think that the price can try to go higher but for example like selling here stop loss here 90 pips take profit 360 and that is a super trade in terms of the risk to reward ratio oh I removed the FIBOs So the candle from yesterday is very negative. I don't think that the price should like even get close to here. Uh, but we will see. I will wait how the situation will uh, will develop. Definitely, price aiming 38.2 is the current scenario for this instrument. Uh, British pound to Canadian dollar. Here we have a double test of the recent support. Support. Support breakout resistance resistance this in theory should trigger as a sell signal no, but i'm not a fan of the situation here it's not very technical um australian dollar to japanese yen i showed you um, a few setups with japanese yen which should result with a further drop What we should get here is really a further drop because that's a false breakout above the neckline of the inverse head and shoulder formation, left shoulder, head and right shoulder, and breakout of um, of uh, the neckline here can be can be little, um, and uh, I think that the closest scenario is the price testing the orange orange line. And you can see that I have this position open on Australian dollar to Canadian dollar. I opened this position here. You can see that uh, I, it's already on stop profit, so I, I'm already protecting 230 euros on this. I'm having 400 euros on profit. Uh, let me explain you why I opened this position because there was a long-term horizontal support and the price created a inverse head and shoulder formation left shoulder head and right shoulder we broke the neckline then the price well I opened before that or here when I opened this 18th of May yes here here I opened this position here after this the price created an ascending triangle pattern and actually yesterday we got a breakout of the horizontal uh, resistance but it seems like it's a false breakout but again like on gold for example we also got a false breakout but it didn't cause a strong reversal usually false breakouts should result in uh, with a strong reversal but this one didn't so we are still respecting the lower line of this triangle with a very high accuracy I don't normally go to lower time frames, but I'm gonna show you uh, lower time frames. Uh, yes, how how we do respect those lines. And now today the price is very close to the daily highs, and well, price making. I think this resistance is still the support is still relevant. The price making new weekly highs will be a very strong, not a buy signal because buy signal is already there but will be a very strong confirmation of the bullish sentiment and as you can see my take profit is somewhere here um, why it is here due to this resistance and this resistance and 38.2 obviously because I do believe in 38.2 that it's a strong level of resistance so that's uh, that's where my take profit is and I'm looking forward for the price getting there. I I, I totally uh, understand why the price stopped here. First of all, it's 23.6, but also it's a resistance created by uh, this uh, support and that resistance. But the price should eventually break those levels 
and uh, I should see the price uh, reaching my take profit on 38.2 Okay. The next one is Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is going down. Bitcoin is in a symmetric triangle pattern. A bounce from the upper line of this formation, aiming the lower line of this formation. So, uh, where we can get on Bitcoin is somewhere here around six, seven thousand uh, dollars. Let's say it's so two hundred dollars more. It shouldn't be anything. It shouldn't be challenging for Bitcoin but maybe eventually we will reach this ultimate support on six thousand uh, dollars but the situation on bitcoin does not look good dax it's a false breakout here result of a false breakout here and now we're having a sideways trend which should result with a further drop i think that the price should continue to go lower here on DAX dollar index uh, dollar index uh, met this important horizontal resistance from November and December and already made a bounce with a shooting star and now maybe we'll get a bearish engulfing the shooting star and a bearish engulfing bouncing from this kind of a resistance will be a strong sell signal uh, we also do have this uptrend line here a breakout of this uptrend line will trigger us a sell signal on dollar index which should trigger us a buy signal like on euro dollar for example right we are all aware of the correlation between those instruments silver silver still in a sideways trend as you can see we are still waiting for the breakout of either the lower line or the upper line of this formation and we should uh, trade in the direction of the breakout american franc this is a correction which should be eventually used as a support and should result with the price aiming higher as for the resistance i would say this is a resistance not to con uh, i don't want to confuse you with colors so let's do like that I think the price doing something like this and this and this that would be beautiful so I'm gonna wait for that and maybe open a long position here we will see American dollar to Canadian dollar this is exactly what I was telling you like when you have a symmetric triangle very often when you have a symmetric triangle you have a situation that um, apart from the triangle you have a horizontal resistance slightly above the upper line of the triangle and a horizontal support support slightly below the uh, the lower line of the triangle so when you trade the breakouts from the triangle you should always consider this and um, buy only when the when they break the upper line of the um, upper horizontal resistance or sell when they break the lower horizontal support that is why there was no buy signal here but buy signal where there is a checkpoint and the sell signal will is below the horizontal support here a breakout of either of those two lines should give us a proper trading signal New Zealand dollar to American dollar here we also had a similar situation like you had a breakout of the lower line of the flag which should trigger a sell signal but there was a horizontal support so that's why I draw this support for you and I made a place where you should sell well you shouldn't do anything but where the place where it would be nice to sell let's say like that the price did not use that and the price look what the price is doing right now the price is creating a left shoulder and a head and the right shoulder so the price breaking the upper 
uh, black line is a strong buy signal okay and that will go in line for example with this price breaking that support here triggers as a sell signal on dollar index so it shows us a negative sentiment towards the american dollar and price closing above the black line triggers as a buy signal and shows us a negative sentiment towards american dollar but a positive one towards new zealand uh, dollar uh, this are those are um, all instruments that i have prepared for you uh, tomorrow friday so on friday we'll have a live trading session hopefully i will be able to open something from those at least some of those uh, we will see but obviously i'm not gonna force myself to open uh, because it's all real account and you need to respect the money Mm, I'm uh, thinking about this short position on British pound to Japanese yen because we are testing this resistance for the second time. I don't know if we will get a flag, like a long term flag. Uh, but the thing is, okay, if I'm not gonna sell here, I'm gonna sell with a lower, pr with a worse price when the price will break this support here. Anyway. What I'm saying is uh, we have this live trading session and hopefully we'll get some decent trading occasions in the meantime that I will be able to show, show you open trades but also that we will be able to open something. Now we will have a short break and after that uh, we will have a webinar about the trading psychology in my opinion the most important part of trading. So I strongly advise you to visit our uh, website where you can access uh, the webinar about trading psychology. Uh, the trade on Australian dollar to Canadian dollar is doing good. As you can see, the price is aiming daily highs. And uh, I think I will pull uh, my um, stop profit order below this, uh, this uh, hammer uh, because the price is respecting this line with high accuracy. So breakout should trigger a reversal i don't want to participate in reversal i want to participate in profits so actually yes let's do this and there is this support on 0.9705 uh, so i'm gonna pull my uh, stop profit order on 9703 yes i passed 300 uh, euros uh, here on the profit so 0 0.9 uh, 9703 is my new support uh, apart from that i think that's it all the best in trading uh, thank you very much for attending this uh, this webinar and uh, remember in the meantime visit our twitter account and our website alpray.news and in half an hour we have a webinar about trading psychology thanks very much and goodbye